anger, what's fear got to do with it? Well, think about this. As we go along in our daily routine, there always seems to be moments that make us angry. For a variety of reasons. You know, something got broken, someone said something to upset us, we can't find the keys, we're late for work. Too many reasons to think about. So why do we get angry? Well, let's have a look at it closer. Can we say that anger has different levels and that the levels can't be all classified as one form of anger? Now, what would we classify these different levels of anger to be? Depending on how we feel, I suppose. We could call them anxiety, annoyance, frustration. And how would we classify those feelings? Well, with anxiety, it's like you feel like something's going to happen, even if it isn't. Um, there's adrenaline releases, uh, other chemicals, um, and annoyances. They're just a build-up of a lot of little things that quickly turn into frustration. Frustration, you know, being the result of things you're unable to change and um, because, or because you didn't achieve a, a certain goal um, or goals. Um, and of course, too much frustration will drive you crazy, you know, leading to expert Inspiration, annoyance, anger, vexation, irritation, bitterness, resentment, disappointment, depression, dissatisfaction, aggravation, self-harm, violence, hatred, murder, so many things. Yet none of this is anger. <laughs> okay, I know. It's what we want to believe anger to be. We want to classify it. Um, we want to give it all this complexity and structure but these are just the results of something underlying something underlying a little crafty bugger called fear that's right fear it's the path to anger it's out of fear that we react think about any time you got angry let's say for example someone said something to upset you was it what they said or was it because you feared what they said to be true or not to be true or that they may say it to other people or they may say it in front of other people um, you're angry just like everybody else you're scared of losing your job your livelihood your friends your family you see it's all about personal loss and you know the other avenue we could go down would be to say um, a friend or loved one got killed by someone a stranger perhaps or even someone you know and you get angry, you know, because they've killed them, and, and it's like, I'm not going to let them get away with that. And But when you stop and think about it, it's fear. It's fear of the loss. It's, you know, fear of the expectations of more loss um, with other friends and so on, you know, could get hurt. Um, so, and, and that would be lost to us, you know. It's, it's not about, believe it or not, their death. It's more about that we no longer have that person in our life. See, so it's that fear again coming through. So anger is fear. You know? uh, what can we do about this? Well, let's have a look. Um, we should start with what fear is. Um, the dictionary says fear is a noun, an unpleasant emotion caused by the threat of danger, pain or harm. Well, yeah, it's true. If you're in danger, you want think you're going to get hurt. Uh, you're worried about pain. Of course, you're going to be scared. Um, you know. Uh, I suppose we can classify fear as well. It's classifies fear as alarm, panic, aggravation, trepidation, dread, dismay, distress, anxiety, worry, angst, unease, apprehension, nervousness, timidity, timidity. Sorry, disquiet, discomposure unrest, foreboding, doubt, fright, horror, and more. Um, we just love to make everything so complex, <laughs> so complicated. Um, so what's the truth of fear then? Fear is not a thing. Fear is not an emotion. Fear is not a feeling. Fear is not true. It's not real. This thing we call fear is composed of so many different elements that we can't truly classify it as one thing. That's why we need so many descriptive words to explain it. And even then, all we can do is explain the effects. Fear is a biological response due to inner voice, ego control over our body and mind's chemical processes. 
In this case, it's the limbic system, um, which activates the uh, amygdala to release adrenaline, and you know that alone is detrimental to having any chance of ever staying in control. So, with a combination of this inner voice, the chemicals in our body, without true understanding, you'll always get angry for the rest of your whole life. You know, so, well, what can we do about it? Well, once again, we find ourselves having to let go of some of the concepts we've grown up with. Think about the first thing you ever got scared of. For instance, say, the monster in the closet. I'm sure most of you have had that when you were kids, you know. Mine was a robot with flashing eyes that would say it would exterminate me. And, the, you know, the dread of the light going out, the horror of the wardrobe not being shut, then spooky noises. <laughs> uh, yeah, the point is the ignorant fears of a child develop into the complex fears of an adult. You know, over time we've hardwired ourselves in certain situations triggered by voice commands, inner voice commands, actions, reactions, um, release of chemicals, um, you know. So now that the fear is put in its place, we understand, you know, we've got to understand that fear is a chemical reaction set about by situations, obviously, but um, unless they're an anxiety situation, but these situations, it's very, very easy to lose control. Um, I mean, we can see why trying to get rid of the complex fears isn't easy, right? wrong how does an ordinary person not really a bad person but let's say they did something I don't know stole a car and ended up in prison for a few months or something or a year or whatever and there was some sort of processing error you know and they some for some reason they ended up in maximum security with the scariest murderers rapists molesters ever how do they cope how do they survive you know, and well, this has happened to people. It's true, it's happened to a lot of people, actually. Um, what they said was they had to rewire the way they thought about fear. They are forced to deal with it. So, what did they do? Well, they simply let go, knowing that the outcome of any situation will be the outcome. And from this thought, one thing arose. And that one thing is this. It's a thing that can't be achieved at any rate, no matter how hard we try. Do you know what it could be? I'll let you know. It's control. That's right. They couldn't control anything anymore. They realized that they never really had any control in the first place. So the illusion of control with the chemical biological pharmacist of the inner voice giving you a big shot of chemicals every time you consciously or unconsciously trigger the activation thoughts that lead to fear producing anger well you can imagine the rest so anyway I think the best remedy for this is inner voice demanipulation de de which you can find out in one of my other videos um, called inner voice manipulation um, you'll find a link below and at the end of this video um, anyway I hope you now have a better understanding of anger and its fear based reality um, and we'll go into this a little bit more in some of the other videos um, anyway I hope you've enjoyed this one this has been Graham Sampton thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video